Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And first, my bullet points. The atmospheric river looks to continue through 111, and there are two more moderate uh, intensity surges coming that will primarily benefit California, Washington, Oregon, and western British Columbia. What we're going to find down the road is that the jet becomes much choppier and more amplified, and so that's going to affect the snow totals through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado so that uh, the biggest impacts will be right along the coast. And those two surges are 1415 and then again on or about 110. So I'll look into all of that. Let me show you some interesting snow stats here. So this is Brighton. You picked up uh, 17 over the last 24 hours. and But look at the seven day total, 80 inches of snow. So this is in line with what I was forecasting. When you go back to just before Christmas and, and say, you know, I'm forecasting 50, 60, 70 inches through parts of the Rockies, through the Wasatch, through California, we're seeing that. We're seeing that verify. Look at Palisades, um, 69 inches over the last seven days, um, and you're just waiting on the next big storm, 1415. And Kirkwood at 208 for the season, seven day snowfall of 74 inches and that's 43 inches in 24 hours i mean you're rivaling some of these 24-hour snow records for the sierra with, with this most recent surge that hit i mean these were big time totals alta looks like the canyon and 210 are now open uh finally after a really big day yesterday um over the last few days, 37 inches, now cracking 300 inches for the season. Um, so things have things have been really good at uh, Alta, Snowbird, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons have done outstanding. Um, you can see the pattern here running all the way back to the Pacific. The lime green is your atmosphere river transfer. Storm rolling through Colorado right now, another one hitting the Pacific Northwest. And hit this big one north of Hawaii, that's the one for 1415 that'll bring in a moderate intensity atmospheric river for the West Coast. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com, snow forecast through 111. I looked at some seven day totals. I showed you the Brighton one, the Kirkwood, and the Palisade one. Uh, here's Wolf Creek at 42 over the last seven days. Steamboat 35. Alta officially cracked 300. That view from Palisades Tahoe this morning was pretty spectacular. Just waiting for the next big storm. There's the setup. I want to show you the jet pattern because this is what goes into what I was talking about at the top of this. So you might recall a week ago the jet was basically straight west to east perfectly very neat and so whatever's west gets perfectly well transported through California into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. There was really no there was really no questioning it. It was very obvious. Well now the jet is amplified. It's choppy. You've got definite troughs, you've got a little bit of ridging and the wind action. And so it's not as obvious. Um, the snow will not be as big in the interior as a result of this chop in the jet stream pattern. That's 111. All right, so back to the blog here. Um, I also did this. I went into some depth here about the atmospheric river forecast. This product right here takes us out 16 days from the GEFS model. You can see the days right there, and it's based on your latitude. So when you look at the IVT plume forecast, there's a big surge with the brighter colors in red on 1415. Another one right there, which you can see the red showing up on about 110. But all the others are of a much lower intensity. I mean, the bottom line is it continues. This river continues for California, Washington, Oregon, BC for a long time down the road, it looks like, which is pretty amazing. But not all of the surges are going to be gigantic. Um, some of these are going to be weak. Many of these down the road beyond 110 will be weak. But there's still going to be a little component, I think, with each of these low pressures that come in. But interesting product right there. Take a look at it. Let's go into forecast timing. Forecast radar and satellite. Okay, here we go. Tuesday morning at 6 and Wednesday morning at 6 in waiting. Here comes the big storm hitting the west coast um, into 1.5, into 1.6. It moves into the interior, but notice it's not as consolidated. There's not going to be the big totals um, like what we've been seeing on the interior. There's still going to be snow, but it's fighting that jet chop. Another big storm right there on 1.7 hitting BC, Pacific Northwest. All right, back to the blog. Forecast totals. Take a look at the end, the numbers here. I also did a forecast timeline for Mammoth Mountain. And there's the surge on 1415 with about 
19, 20 inches. Another big surge, 1, 9, 1, 10, 1, 11, with about two feet coming in. So take a look at that. Let me show you my numbers. Um, here's the first period. So yeah, Shasta's starting to catch um, the big storm on 1, 4, 1, 5. Um, eventually, Tahoe and Mammoth's numbers all go up. I'll show you that in the next period coming up. Another 5 to 7 in the uh, the Wasatch, a couple more in the Tetons. And in Colorado, you've still got another day's worth of snow to go on 1, 3. So the number's anywhere from 4 to 10 inches, 4 to 11. So really good conditions there. If you're looking for skiing the next couple of days, uh, Colorado should be pretty good. All right, period two, one five through one eleven, California does very well. Another thirty to seventy inches of accumulation, and in northern California, this appears to be the area that takes the brunt of this. Um, you know, there's a big part of me that worries about some catastrophic flooding in the low-lying areas of Northern California because it's just like a fire hose of moisture moving into that area all the way through 111. Um, and then look at the Pacific North, BC, Whistler, British Columbia. I've got over four feet projected there for that six-day period. Um, Baker does very well. Um, the interior, it's possible we get about a foot in the Wasatch, but that's over a six-day period. Um, 9 to 10 in the Tetons, and Colorado cranks out another 4 to 10 inches through that 6-day period. All right, what about the Northeast? All of today through the through the 11th, there's nothing big here. 1 to 6 inches will probably do it. Again, you're just fighting precip types, um, rain, snow mixes. Um, I've seen some pictures out of New Hampshire. Uh, it's obvious you need some snow up there. I, I just don't see a lot here. Um, over that period of 1-2 to 111. All right, guys, hope you're having a great new year. Be very safe out there. There are so many avalanche watches and mornings right now. Just take care and terrain selection. Take care, guys.